In yesterday's legislative by-elections for four seats, the DPP retained two seats and the KMT retained one, but lost another in outlying Jinmen County to an independent. Today, President Tsai Ing-wen thanked key officials of the DPP for their efforts. They included Premier Su Zhenchang, DPP Chairman Zhuo Rongtai, and former Premier Lai Qingde. Meanwhile, KMT Chairman Wu Dunyi noted that although his party may have lost two seats to the DPP, the number of KMT votes increased compared with the previous election. After over a month of fierce campaigning, the DPP was able to hang on to seats in Tainan and Sanchong, while in contrast the KMT only retained a seat in Jianghua. It lost a seat in the outlying islands of Jinmen County. We've all really gained confidence. We're also feeling some happiness, but we shouldn't celebrate just yet. This is not a victory for the DPP. We've just managed to staunch our wounds. The road ahead in the coming year will be arduous. The DPP has comprehensively reformed itself after a trouncing in last year's municipal elections. Its campaign momentum has stopped lagging and is starting to gain speed. This put a smile that hadn't been seen for a long time on the face of President Tsai Ing-wen, who is running for re-election. After Premier Su took office, he strengthened the positive aspects of government while eliminating the weaknesses, along with strengthening communication with the public. Our DPP Chairman Zhuo can strategize, which has boosted morale in the DPP. Our former Premier Lai campaigned everywhere. The KMT vote in deep green areas increased enormously. After all, we were still 5% behind in traditionally deep green areas. Our Tainan candidate, Xie Longjie, went as far as temporarily being in the lead in some green areas. This second by-election is the last major contest before the 2020 election. Both the DPP and the KMT thought they didn't do too badly.